In this video, I want to introduce you to the bubble sort algorithm. Now, to be clear, for MEI's modeling with algorithms, the bubble sort algorithm is not mentioned as one that you need to know. However, uh, as I said in a previous video, uh, they could give you the bubble sort algorithm as a tracing algorithm, um, in which case it might be difficult to discern actually what's going on unless you've actually had a go at it. So it's well worth having seen the bubble sort algorithm uh, before you go into the exam. So we're going to use the bubble sort algorithm to sort these six numbers into ascending order, and I'm going to track the number of, pa uh, number of comparisons at each pass as I go. Okay, so how does the bubble sort algorithm work? Well, it starts off by looking at the first two numbers in your list and comparing them and seeing which one is larger than the other. Okay, now if one is smaller, it gets put to the left and the largest number in each pass should bubble to the top, okay? That's the idea of where the bubble sort name comes from. So, we should see in the process 37 bubble to the top of the list, okay? So, first of all, we compare 24 and 18. 24 is larger than 18, and so 18 gets put to the left. So you can kind of imagine that these two have now swapped place. And we now have 24 here, and I'm going to compare 24 with 37. Okay, so I'm comparing the 24 with 37. 24 is smaller than 37, so 24 gets put in place. Right, so now I'm working with the 37. 37 and 11, so it's essentially, as you work your way through, the larger number is the one that you kind of like push through, and if you meet a larger number along the way, you kind of go over to that one instead. Okay, you go, oh, that's not the largest one. Don't want that one anymore. And you keep moving on. So we're now with 37, because that was larger than 24. 37 compares with the next number of the list, 11. 11 is smaller than 37. So that goes there. So effectively, these two have swapped around. I'm now comparing 37 with 15. 15 is smaller than 37. And then I'm comparing 37 with 30. 30 smaller than 37, and so 37 bubbles to the top, okay? Now, at this stage, what we do is we say, okay, once the largest number is bubbled to the top, we're going to cap it off, okay? So we cap that off, and now we don't need to consider that number, okay? So essentially, we reduce the list down to looking at five numbers rather than six now, because we already know 37 is in the correct position. So, in that first pass, how many comparisons did I make? Well, I compared 24 with 18. I compared 24 with 37. I compared 37 with 11, 37 with 15, and 37 with 30. So we had one, two, three, four, five. Five comparisons were made because that's one less than the number of numbers that I had. Okay, so I had six numbers, there were five comparisons. Okay, so now we go to our next pass. So we start off with 18 and 24. So 18 is smaller than 24, so 18 gets pushed there. Then 24 and 11, well, 11 is less than 24, so they switch position. And we're now looking at 24 and 15, so 15 is less than 24. And then we'll look at 24 and 30, well, 24 is less than 30. And 30, although it was already at the top, has been bubbled to the top. So now 30 and 37, we know, are in correct position. So we don't need to consider them anymore. We cap them off. So in the second pass, we made one, two, three, four comparisons. One less than the number of numbers in the list. OK, so we're now down to these four. So looking at 18 and 11, we compare those. 11 is less than 18. 18 and 15, 15 is less than 18. 
18 and 24, well, 18 is less than 24. So 24 has bubbled to the top. So in the third pass, we made one, two, three comparisons. Right, then 11 and 15, we compare those. Well, 11 is less than 15. Then 15 and 18, 15 is less than 18. So 18 bubbles to the top. Now, because we've gone through a pass here where there were no swaps made, because there are no swaps, that means the algorithm is done. There's no reason to continue any further. So that means our list is in correct order. And I can cap off the rest of the numbers in that list. And we are done. So in that fourth pass, we made two comparisons, 11 and 15, 15 and 18, and I am done. Okay, so that is how we can perform the bubble sort algorithm.